Scott Walker. Apparently, this is what you do if you are uh, running for president. And I think, you know, I was aware of this. Uh, I haven't heard of any uh, potential Democratic candidates doing it uh, at this point. Uh, but certainly, Republican governors who want to be taken seriously and know that they have a deficit when it comes to foreign relations credentials and knowing that they could be running against a former Secretary of State, will go to uh, somewhere like Great Britain, <laughs> um, I guess because there's an English-speaking press, and it both feels like you're doing something in terms of foreign relations and also um, not terribly complicated the relationship between the United States and Great Britain, I guess. And so uh, we saw Bobby Jindal go there and um, basically make the case to uh, the right-wing base in this country that he's not a Muslim by claiming that Birmingham, a country in the UK, a city in the UK, is a Muslim no-go zone. We saw Chris Christie head there and talk about vaccines. And now we have Scott Walker, who has learned the lesson. I'm not going to talk about anything other than Wisconsin cheese. Here he is being questioned by a British journalist. Do you, are you comfortable with the idea of evolution? Do you believe in it? Do you accept it? Uh, for me, I'm going to I'm going to punt on that one as well. No, that, that does you that, really. That, that, that's a that's a question a politician should be involved in one way or the other on. So I'm going to leave Is that the, up to you. And, but and any British politician, right or left wing, would say would laugh and say, yes, of course, evolution is true. But, uh, but you, to me, I, I said it's just one of those where I'm here to talk about trade, not not to t pontificate that another issue. I love the evolution of of uh, of trade in Wisconsin yeah, right. very well, and I'd yeah, like to see point. an even bigger evolution as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, see, the British journalists have realized, like, oh my God, they they won't even talk about evolution. I mean, you understand that the next Republican presidential candidate who heads over there is going to get uh, like just like an entire raft of questions, like, do you think the Earth is round? Uh, evolution. Um, do you believe in the Big Bang? Do you, uh, you know, I mean, the, the British press, it's like the first time they've realized this. Like, my God, how, just how stupid have things gotten over there? It's going to be really disappointing for them if any of them come over and they're just like, so, well, do you think that there's any perhaps uh, parts of our country that we can't go to as an example? Maybe Sharia courts in <laughs> Manchester as an example? I uh, know, I don't think that that's been established. Oh, really? Yeah. Fred from Sky gets all of the goddamn clips, and the right. one guy who isn't <laughs> completely I, It's unbelievable. The, what do you think will be next? I, you want to take know. a pool, the next no, Republican candidate? A, I mean, listen to that guy. He's like, seriously? You're not going to answer that question? You've no. got to be bloody fucking kidding me. <laughs> no. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah, but you know what's really disturbing is that actually in, a, in the U.K., that's crazy. But from an American perspective, I would say that that's the savviest way he could answer that question by far. Of, co of course. And I think that's what and adds. You know what? They probably don't even get It's like a two-step. They're and like, wow, the they're crazy, here's but the they thing. don't get not that's only, effective. Yes, and not only that, I'm not even sure that most American journalists would feel, oh, it's not really appropriate. I'm not going to do a gotcha thing here. Like, like it just like, contemplate here. Like, there is a baseline of how either you, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll look at it either way, how not much of a moron you should be or not how not pandering you should be to the literally the lowest common denominator. And I don't even know if this is the lowest common denominator. It is a, you know, one specific denominator. And they can't even, like the British press, like they, it's literally, they're just like, Holy crap, we just lifted up this rock and we didn't realize like, just how bad it is there. And I think they're just going to keep doing this because they're just shocked. Well, it was like when, I mean, the great moment of that was when they had a Steve Emerson on. Right, that's what I'm saying. All right, yeah. yeah I mean, no, that was the perfect of distillation of it. Because he literally was, on one hand, there's the British condescension, but there was also just like, really? Are you sure you're not from the yes men?
Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. <laughs>